Hey guys, welcome to Mobility Flow. This is our time to take care of our bodies. I know we've been hitting it hard this week, so we're gonna focus on our full body. We're doing lots of shoulder and chest openers. We're getting into those hips, hip flexors, hamstrings, we're doing it all. So it's not just about doing it this one time. If you don't have the time during the week, that's fine. You can do this on Sunday. But if you're feeling extra tight and you're like, wow, I, I need more of this mobility, go ahead and do so. Maybe you're gonna do it three or four times during the week, that's fine. Just do what feels best for you, okay? We gotta take care of those joints and just make sure that we're feeling nice and open before we go into our workouts every week. So let's get started. First one we're gonna do is we're gonna lay on our belly and I want you to make sure that your arm is at a 90 degree angle. So a cactus arm here, shoulder, elbow, and wrist are at that 90 degrees. Coming all the way down, let's start with your right arm first. So we're gonna lay down. Our arm is out to the side. Bring your right ear to the floor. Left hand is going to be pressing into the ground and I want you to bring that left foot up and over. If this is too much, you can always just stack your feet here. But if you can, try to get that leg up a little bit higher and a little bit closer towards your elbow. And then with this left hand, you wanna bring it a little bit closer towards your body so you're not feeling it in your left shoulder. So you wanna make sure that your shoulders are down and away from your ears. And then from there, go back onto your belly, 90 degree angle with that left arm, left ear to the mat, bringing that right leg up and over. You can either have your foot flat on the ground or you can walk it up a little bit higher. If that's too much, you can always just do this. And then let's go back and forth now. So right arm, 90, right ear to the ground. Get that leg back or stack it. And then switch, left arm. Ooh, I really feel a nice opening here in your chest and in your shoulder. And then again, back and forth. Pause here, breathe. And then over to that left side. One more each. I can do this all day. Oh. Take a deep breath here. Last side. You might even feel tighter on one side than the other, and if so, just stay here a little bit longer. Good. Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna hug ourselves, literally. So we're gonna bring that right arm out to the side, so not in front of you, out to the side. Left arm is now reaching to your right. Okay, so imagine that I'm pulling your arms in different directions. From there, relax your chin down. So you feel a nice stretch here in the back of your shoulders in the upper middle of your back as well. And then squeeze your glutes so you're not dumping into your lower back. Take a breath, this can be intense. And then you're gonna switch. So that right arm is now on top. We're now bringing that right arm underneath, hugging yourself, we love ourselves here, and then drop your chin down, breathe. So you can take about six to eight breaths here if you like. You may need longer, or you just maybe need just a few breaths here and that's fine too. And then slowly making your way out. Now we're gonna come up into our tabletop position. Shoulders are stacked right on top of your wrist. Hips are right on, right on top of your knees, and your legs are hip width. Shoulders are back. From there, belly is in nice and tight. We're lifting your right arm up, thumb towards the ceiling, then bringing your hand at the base of your neck. Straighten, go all the way around with control. Now the top of your hand is facing up towards the ceiling. Get it to that lower back, a little bit up your spine, and then reach all the way back out, forward, thumb up, and down. So again, reach up, back, base of your neck, forward, all the way out to the side, palm is up, get that arm as high as you can, feel that in that shoulder, reach all the way out to the side, forward, and down. Keeping those shoulders back, belly in, lift up, base of your neck, all the way out, to the side, palm up, to that lower back, Good, there's three, let's go ahead and do five. So here's four, reach up, base of your neck, all the way out with control. Maybe getting that hand up a little bit higher this time. Around, last one, reach up, 
hand behind your neck. <sighs> Reach all the way around, maybe getting up a little bit higher. It's your last one on this side. Reach all the way around and down. Okay, shake it out. Now we're going onto that left side. Left thumb up, bring your left hand to the base of your neck. You're always looking down at a slightly out in front so you're not tucking your chin. Arm all the way around, palm up, back and around, and down. Let's do four more together. Up, around, make sure you're breathing here. Get that hand up, around, forward, down. Three more, lift, thumb is up towards the ceiling. All the way around, palm up. This side's a little bit easier for me. So you're gonna have one side that is a little stiff. If that's the case, you can always do an extra rep or two. So let's go ahead and do one more. Nice and slow, lift. Bring that hand back. Reach forward all the way around. Get that arm up. Back around. And good. Okay. I'm feeling very active now in my upper body. Next, we're just gonna sit back into our heels. And then we're going to bring that right hand to the base of your lower back, swinging your left arm around. You're gonna grab on to your right elbow. Now, what you don't wanna do is bring that right shoulder forward like this. You wanna keep it back and down, okay? Then with your left hand, you're gently trying to pull your elbow towards the midline of your body, towards your belly button, but you wanna force that shoulder back and bring it down. Keep looking straight ahead, belly is in, and breathe here. This is pretty intense there in your shoulder. You're gonna feel it more in the front of your shoulder here. Deep breath in, exhale it out. Try your best to relax this right arm. Take one more. Good, and then gently release. Now bring that left hand to the base of your lower back. Right arm, you're gonna swing it around, grab your elbow. This we're gonna make sure that your left shoulder is packed back and down, okay? Your right hand is gently trying to pull your elbow towards your belly button. You're keeping your shoulders back the whole time. You might feel a little bit more on one side. My right side was definitely harder than this side. Keep looking straight ahead so you're not doing this with your chin or looking too far up. Let's take two more breaths. Keeping that left shoulder back as best as you can. One more and release. Okay, we're gonna do one more upper body. I know that we're doing a lot of planking and pushing upper body stuff, so I wanna make sure we're taking care of our shoulders and our chest. So next one, right arm is going over our left. We're gonna make an eagle arm. You're either gonna do this, or you can also bring your palms together like this, okay? So either here or here, listen to your bodies. Next part, we're bringing your elbows up and forward. So now you're getting the back of your shoulders and now try to reach your hands a little bit further up towards the ceiling and breathe with the back of your shoulders here. Take your time, a few more breaths. Keep pushing those elbows straight ahead Keep pushing firmly into your palms or the back of your hands, and then slowly come out. Now left arm's going on top, switching, so you can go here or clasp, bringing your palms together. Now, shoulders back and down, so you don't wanna be here. Elbows straight ahead, like I'm pulling your elbows away from your body, and now try to bring your arms a little bit further away from your body, and then slightly up, and breathe here. I know it can be intense, but we need this. This is good for your bodies, guys. We have to do this every single week. We're doing a lot of exercises and movements. So this is so important. And then slowly coming out, Whew, shake it out. So now we're going into our hips and this can be intense. You're going to have one side that's tighter, but you can always stay there longer. You can always use this multiple times during the week as well. So let's go ahead and get into a 90 degree angle with both legs. So right hip is going to be aligned with my right knee, not right knee aligned with my heel and then watch my back hip as well. So it's at that 90 degree angle. You're flexing your feet, both of your feet here, okay? Next, what I'm gonna do, 
So I'm slowly going to twist over to my right. Okay, so now I'm twisting over to my right. You might just stay right here and that's fine. Or you might come down on one elbow, maybe on both. Ooh, I just kind of cracked my back there. Or you might even go onto blocks, okay? So I will show you guys staying here, but if you want more, go ahead and drop down. That's okay too. You might need a little extra on one side. Next, what we're gonna do is straighten this bottom leg. You're straightening it out in front of you. Whew. So now you're really hitting that IT band, getting that hip. You have a little bit of your quad, or sorry, your hamstrings here as well. And next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna point your toes. So you're gonna point, you're gonna flex. Now bring your toes up towards the ceiling. And that's where I really feel it. I'm sure you guys are too. And then point again, flex, lift those toes up towards the ceiling. Try to keep that leg as straight as you can. And then again, point, flex, toes up, breathe here. It's really easy to hold your breath. And then again, point, flex, toes up. Starting to feel a little bit better now. And then relax, good. Now, if you're on your forearms like this, let's come up onto your hands, re-bend this bottom leg back to your 90 degree angle. And now we're going to stand or sit all the way up. I want you to make fists with both of your hands. Now I want you to imagine you're trying to bring your belly button towards this right knee. So you wanna be aligned here, facing straight ahead. Get nice and tall, like you're elongating through each vertebrae. Make your fist. And then slowly, with control, you're coming forward, trying to bring that belly button to, towards your knee. Once you start to round your back, you're done. Stop there. <sighs> Exhale all the way back up. Okay, keep those feet flexed. Keep that 90. Inhale. Brace. Come down as far as you can with control, trying to bring yourself forward so you're not rounding your back. And then exhale <sighs> all the way back up. Again, inhale, brace. Oh, right hip, and exhale up. Let's do two more, inhale. I'm feeling this in my right hip. I know you guys are too. And then exhale, last one, inhale, brace. Maybe you're going a little bit further. Maybe your chest is going a little bit forward, a little bit more. Good, and then relax. You can either stay up here onto your hands or you can go onto your forearms. If you're like, I got this, I want more. Or maybe this week you're feeling a little extra mobile, then you can also fully extend your arms out in front of you. So go to your level, go to your range of motion. If you start to round your back or you're lifting your hip off the ground, stop. Stop right before that happens. Okay, take one more breath here and then slowly walking yourself up. We're going to a side bend. Left hand is now at the back of that left leg. You can have it at your thigh if that's too much or you can hold on to your foot or to your calf. Reach your right arm up and over and we're doing a gentle side bend okay the goal here is bringing this right arm back towards your ear if it feels okay for your neck you can always look up and that's okay too and i want you to breathe and every time you exhale you're going to go a little bit further over towards the left so inhale reach up and then exhale Come over, inhale, reach, extend, and exhale, hinge. Nice. Okay, guys, we have to do the left side now. And this side is my tighter side. Let's see about you. So we're going to bring that left knee up, then the right, left knee down, and here we go. Make that 90 degree angle. So left hip align with your knee, knee align with your ankle, flexing your foot. Keep this 90 degree angle as best as you can so you can really feel it in your hip. So next, what we're gonna do is slowly go over to the left. Okay, I'm already feeling it on this side. You can stay here with me or you can go down onto your forearms if that feels okay. But make sure your left hip stays down on the floor. So take a few breaths here, really feel this twist. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your face muscles. Don't sit there and do this, because uh, I know you want to. And now I'm gonna have you straighten this bottom leg. Okay, hello IT band, hamstring. So now what we're gonna do is 
point your toe, flex, lift your toes up towards the ceiling and that really gets in there. And then you're gonna point again, flex that foot, bring those toes up, Whew, still hinging, still twisting, point, flex, bring those toes up, and then let's do that one more time. Point, flex, and then toes up. And I would recommend staying, like if you felt it more when you're pointing your toes, stay there a little longer. If you feel it more here like me, stay there a little bit longer, okay? Now let's go ahead and bend that knee, bringing yourself all the way back up. Make sure that you're still at that 90, 90, flexing your feet, making fists with both hands, trying to get that belly button towards that left knee. So really elongating here through your spine. Take a deep breath, embrace. Come all the way down, stop right before you feel like you're having to round your back or have to lift your back leg and then exhale all the way up. We're going for five, so inhale. Maybe going a little bit further forward. Feeling that in your left hip, exhale all the way up. There's two. Keep that 90, keep flexing your feet. Trying to get that chest as far forward as you can. <sighs> exhale up, three. Brace, belly is in nice and tight. Exhale, four, one more. Here we go. Maybe you're going a little bit further here on your last one. Feel that stretch and exhale. <sighs> Bringing those hands down and walking yourself now a little bit further out in front of you. You can either stay right here onto your hands or if you want a little bit more, you can go onto your forearms or you can reach all the way out in front of you. You will have one side that's probably tighter than the other. So just go to your edge, to your own range of motion there. You don't want to go past that. And then slowly bring yourself up. Now your right hand, so you're going to go to your shin or to your thigh, maybe even to your foot. Bring your left arm up and we're going to bend over towards the right. So really try to open up that shoulder, bringing it back towards your left ear. Breathe here. Each exhalation, you're maybe going a little bit further, flexing those feet, keeping that 90-90. Inhale, up, and exhale, reach and bend, extend. Inhale, come up, exhale, reach. Let's do one more. Inhale, up, and exhale, reach. Like I'm pulling that arm all the way over to the right, keeping that arm back towards your ear, and then slowly coming down. Our next one, keeping your 90. This is the last 90-90 we're gonna do. Bring your arms out. If you need to use your hands a little bit, that's okay. But the goal here is to try to get those fists and what you're gonna do is lift up onto this left leg. So you're gonna lift up, keeping that 90 as best you can. And then fully extend those hips forward, squeeze those glutes. And then instead of hinging back like this, I want you to try to sit straight down. So you're trying to sit straight down. And then lifting this right knee up then going over to the other side with control. So you have to go slow. And then we're gonna lift straight up, belly is in, shoulders are back. All the way up, squeeze those glutes, stay tight, keep looking straight. Slowly sitting down with control. That one's a hard one. And then again, lift the left knee up, right, left knee down, right. Keep that 90, come all the way up with control, full extension at those hips. Sit it straight down, over to the other side. Oh, isn't this fun, guys? I'm sweating. Come all the way up. Slowly back down. I feel like we gotta do this one more time. Left knee up. The other. I'm rolling off my mat. Come all the way up, squeeze those glutes. Full extension at your hips, straight down, nice and slow. Last one, right leg up, over to the other side. We're switching. And then one more, stay nice and tight. Brace, squeeze, and then slowly coming down. Whew, I'm feeling that. I know you guys are too. So let me get back onto my mat. Next one, we're going into our downward dog position. So let's start on our tabletop. Spread your fingers nice and wide, curling your toes under. Let's go ahead, push your hips back, and then just walk it out. So you're gonna bend one knee, straighten, bend the other, 
straighten, going back and forth, really feeling this in your hamstrings, lower back and your calves. And then try to actively push into your thumbs, your index fingers, pads of your hands, trying to get your ears back towards your arms. Hips are high. The majority of your weight should be back into your legs and not into your arms. And now try to just bring both heels down as best as you can. And now we're gonna bring that left foot in the middle of your mat and just lift that right leg up. Keeping that left heel down, bend that knee, open up that hip. Let's do some circles here with your ankle. Keeping your shoulders square, opposite direction with that ankle. And now bringing your right foot to the outer edge of your mat, okay? Whew. Now both arms are inside of your leg. You're really feeling this in your hip flexor and in your quad here. I want you to push into your back heel. So now you feel a little bit more. So next, bring this right elbow down. Maybe you're getting it to your calf. Maybe you're going all the way to the floor. Listen to your body. Remember, always go to your own range of motion. If you're feeling extra tight today, don't go as low. And then lift your right arm up so you're stacking your shoulders. And then exhale, come back down. Inhale, reach up, stack those shoulders. Keep pressing through that back heel. And down and up. We're flowing through this. Two more, reach, extend. One more, all the way up and back down. Maybe getting that elbow a little bit further towards the floor. And then dropping that back knee, but still trying to bring that leg as far as you can behind you. So you're still getting into that hip flexor. Right arm now is down, right hand is to the floor. You're gently pushing this arm into this right leg. And now we're going to reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. So this is a little bit different, it's a lot harder. That's why we're dropping that back knee. Come back down, maybe you can get this elbow down, or maybe you just stay right here, and that's okay too. And then bring your arm up, exhale down. All the way up, there's three, we're going for five each direction. Two more, keep pushing this right arm into this right leg. So it's that counterbalance here. One more, reach, extend and back down. Now we're gonna walk your foot to the middle of your mat. I want you to come all the way up, hands at your hips. Okay, you're gonna untuck your back toes now. From here, still want this back leg as far as you can behind you, so you're still getting this stretch. I want you now to squeeze your glutes. Belly is in, so you're not just here and dumping into that lower back. Now bringing your hands behind you, clasp your fingers, or you can grab a towel, a strap, or you can hold on to your elbows as well. You're gonna inhale, lift up, breathe, and then slowly trying to bring this right shoulder inside of your right leg. And then just kind of looking at your left knee, bringing those arms up and over as best as you can, really feeling it here in your shoulders, opening up that chest. If you need the stability, you can always curl your toes if you need it. And then slowly coming all the way up, bring those arms up and exhale down. Next one, bringing this right foot back to the edge of your mat. You're still extending this back leg as far as you can behind you. Now we're gonna let this right leg just kind of roll out to the sides. So now you can be at the outer edge of this foot. You're going to walk over and look over your right shoulder, making sure your back ankle is straight. It's easy for it to go out to the side. And now walk over to the left, getting a little stretch there as well, a little bit different. And then coming all the way back. Now, foot is flat. Let's try to bend that back knee. You might just stay here, or you're gonna bring this right hand around getting the inside of your foot and then open up your right shoulder, keeping your shoulders away from your ears and now try to bring your back heel closer towards your glute as best as you can without straining. You just want a nice stretch, remember that. And then just keep reaching, keep extending. Imagine that you, your head is trying to be pulling in front of you like I'm pulling your head all the way this way, okay? Take one more breath and then slowly making your way back down. Whew. Walking your foot back to the middle of your mat and now let's get into that hamstring. We're going to straighten your leg so your toes are straight up towards the ceiling, really pushing this right hip back. 
to meet the left. And then we're rocking forward, bending that knee, really hitting that hip flexor again on this left side, and then exhale, extend. Feeling that hamstring, your calf, shoulders are back and down, rocking forward and exhale back. If you want more, you can bend, bring that back leg up, and then stay here. And if you need blocks or anything like that, go ahead and grab them. You can always place them underneath your hands. So exhale, hinge, really pushing that right hip back. And forward, let's do a few more. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, last one. Really bringing those toes up towards the ceiling and come all the way back. Pressing into your downward dog. Now switching sides, lifting that left leg up, bending that knee, rotating that ankle to the left. Really pushing into your palms, keeping those shoulders square and then rotate your ankle in that opposite direction. And now bringing that left leg to the outer edge of your mat dropping that back knee down and really trying to bring that leg as far as you can back. So now we're getting that hip flexor and quad on that right side. <sighs> Take a second here. And now we're going to twist. So you can either keep your leg here or we can extend through that back heel, lifting your knee off the ground, bringing your right hand to a block or to the floor. Let's breach. Reach that left arm up, stacking your shoulders, and then exhale. Try to bring this elbow down as far as you can and maybe to your calf or towards the floor, maybe even on the floor. And then bring that arm up, really pushing still through that back heel. Come all the way back down. There's two, we're going for five. Reach up and down three. Reach, extend. Here's four, maybe going a little bit lower. Last one all the way down, this time now dropping your back knee, still keeping that right leg as far as you can behind you, left hand down. You're going to press your left arm against now this left thigh. And now reaching your right arm up, twisting, extending, really feeling that opening also in your chest and your shoulder, and exhale down. You can either keep your right hand down or you can bring your elbow down if you want a little extra. Come all the way up, really wringing out the spine here. Exhale down, we're going for five, there's two. Good, breathe, three. There's four, one more. All the way up, reach, like I'm pulling that arm up towards the ceiling and all the way back down. Now bringing that foot to the middle of your mat, still keeping that right leg behind you. Inhale, both arms up. And then exhale your hands together, so you're clasping your fingers together, looking up. Little arch here, squeezing those glutes, and then exhale, coming forward, bring that left elbow now to the inside of that left leg. Keeping that left hip back to meet the right so your hips are nice and square. If you need to hold onto a strap here or hold onto your elbows, you can also do that as well. Take one more breath, and then slowly bring yourself all the way back up. Arms up, squeeze those glutes, belly in, and then coming all the way back down. This time now bringing your foot to the outer edge of your mat. And now walking your hands over to the left, looking over that left shoulder. Even, maybe even you're going at the edge of that left foot too. So you can really feel it in that left hip. Make sure your back ankle is pointing straight behind you. So it's not tweaked here. And then walk both arms over to that right side. Deep breaths. And then walk all the way back, making sure your foot now is flat. I want you to bend your back knee, maybe just holding it right there. And then if you want a little extra, your left hand's going to grab the inside of your back foot. You can stay here. You can also have a block under this hand if you need it. And then rotate. Bring that left elbow up towards the ceiling, trying to bring your heel a little bit closer towards your glute without straining. You just want a nice stretch, keeping this left knee out towards your pinky toe. Take one more breath here. And then exhale, release. Now walking this left foot back to the middle of your mat. Let's go ahead and straighten this left leg, uncurling those back toes. Now pushing your left hip back to meet the right. 
Toes are up, so you're really getting that stretch here in your calf and your hamstring. And then let's rock forward. Inhale. And then exhale, rock back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, rock back. Remember, if you want more of a stretch and you don't need blocks here, then what you can do is just lift that back leg and do the same thing. Get in those, that hamstring a little bit more. Keep rocking here. Exhale back. Let's do two more. Exhale, push that left hip back to meet the right. Hello, hamstring. One more, inhale and exhale. Coming back to center now, dropping that back knee. Now we're going into our frog stretch. I want you to bring your legs as far as you can out to the sides and then flex your feet. So you're at a 90 degree angle with your hips, knees and ankles here. Shoulders are back. Now what I want you to do is lift your left leg up, but keeping your hips back so you're only lifting that leg. And that's as far as I'm going, just a few inches off the ground and then exhale down. Now I'm lifting this right leg off the ground, just a few inches, keeping my hips back, really feeling that in my inner thighs and my outer hips, exhale down. So inhale, lift that left leg, pause, exhale. Inhale that right leg. Whew, I'm feeling this guys. Exhale down, let's do four more, eight total. Come all the way up, lift that left leg, belly is in, down, right leg up, pause, down, two more. Lift that left leg as high as you can without straining, fill in that hip, exhale down, one more, right leg up, and exhale. Nice. Okay, this is the best part, trying to get out of this pose. So you can either flop down or with control, slowly make your way back up. And now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna sit all the way down, hands behind you. So you try to have your fingers away from you. If this is too much, and if you have to bring your fingers out to the sides, that's okay too, okay? So what you're gonna do, so you're gonna lift your hips straight up towards the ceiling. Your toes are pointing straight ahead. You're really driving and pushing into your bottom heels. Come all the way up, full extension, squeeze your glutes, and now let this right arm come all the way back behind you and feel that nice stretch there. Pause, and then slowly coming back down, switch, right hand now is down. Push through those heels, squeeze your glutes, open up that right, Shoulder, that right chest area right there. And exhale down, let's do eight, here's three. Lift and extend, back down, lift, squeeze. There's four, try to get that belly button straight up. Five, six, two more. Lift, reach, maybe you're reaching a little bit further behind you now. You're also feeling it in this lat area. One more and all the way down. Whew. All right, next, we're gonna get that quad a little bit more. So let's go ahead and bring that left leg back behind you, trying to keep your knees as close as you can together. If you need to sit on a pillow or a block here, because you're like this, you can go ahead and do so. But I want you to flex this right foot. Okay, so your toes are straight up. These, the left toes are straight behind you. Big open chest, you can either stay here or you can come down onto your forearms, or maybe you're going all the way back to your back. But if you do that, make sure that both of your sit bones are flat to the floor. Otherwise, just stay here or come up onto your hands. So big open chest here. Take a deep breath. And then what we're gonna do next is we're reaching that right arm. Ooh, I just popped my back. So I went the wrong way too anyways. All right, so let me just come up. Okay, so we're gonna come all the way up. Now we're gonna reach that left arm across and exhale. <sighs> Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, cross that left arm over. Inhale, up. Exhale, over, let's go for five. Let's do two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, over. Once more, inhale, and exhale. Coming all the way back up. Gently bringing that left leg out, right leg back, making sure your knees are close together, your right toes are under, 
flexing your left foot so you don't wanna be like this. Keep your toes up. You can either stay right here onto your hands, just making sure your left toes are pointing straight up, or you can go down onto your forms. Make sure your right hip is down to your mat. If it's lifting up, then I just want you to stay right here and you're still gonna feel that stretch. So that's something that we're going to work towards. Next, right hand, we're going over to meet the left hand. <sighs> Exhale it out. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale over. Inhale. Exhale. Taking your time here. Two more. Exhale. Gentle twist. One more. And good. Ooh, my quads are feeling great now. All right, next. I'm gonna have us go into downward dog just so we can transfer into our pigeon. So let's get into our downward dog. Hips are nice and high, really pushing into those hands. Let's go ahead and lift that right leg up and then bring your right knee towards the right edge of your mat, okay? Releasing your back toes, making sure that your ankle is straight, your toes are straight behind you. So what I'm looking for here is that your hips are square. Okay, your hips are square here. If you're up like this, I want you to either put a pillow or a block underneath this right thigh, or you can lay on your back and do thread the needle if this is too much for you or if you feel this in your knee. You wanna feel this in your right hip. Flex your right foot so you're protecting your knee. You can either stay right here, you can go onto some blocks or a pillow, or you can come all the way down onto your forearms. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to walk both arms over to the left, getting a little stretch here, still flexing that right foot, keeping that right hip down, keeping your hips as square as you can. That's the goal here. And then walking both arms all the way over to that right side. So now your belly button's going towards that right knee. Shoulders are away from your ears. And then walk all the way back forward. Maybe you're reaching a little bit further in front of you. Maybe you're right here and going, oh, Hey, I went a little bit further this time. Just listen to where you're at and take one more breath. And then slowly coming all the way up on your hands, if you're not there already. Curl your back toes and exhale, downward dog. This time now lifting that left leg up, go into that left side, bring your left knee towards the left edge of your mat, releasing your back toes so your ankle is straight. Your left hip is pressing back, making sure your left hip is down. If it's not, go ahead and use your prop. Flex this left toe, okay? Flex your foot. So I'm slightly at an angle and that's okay because my hips are square. But if you feel like you can walk your foot out a little bit more and get to that 90 degree angle, that's fine too. You're really gonna feel that in your left hip now. So you're gonna walk out. Maybe you're here, here. Maybe you're reaching all the way out in front. That's fine as long as you have good form. And now let's go ahead and walk both hands over towards that right leg. So that right side. Shoulders are down, relax your face muscles. You might wanna cry a little inside because hip openers are hard. And then walk all the way over to that left side. Belly button towards that knee now. And then slowly walking yourselves all the way back to center. Taking another breath. This feels great in my left hip. You also might be a little bit tighter on one side. If you're tighter on this side, take a little bit longer here. Take a few more breaths and then walking yourselves all the way back up. This time, bringing that back leg behind you out to the side, keeping this left leg close to your body, trying to press your left knee gently towards the floor, flexing this right toe. What we're gonna do next, right hand grabs inside of your right foot, left arm reaches up, and then exhale, do a little side body bend. Trying to bring your left arm back towards your ear, inhale up, and then exhale down, and maybe your hand's at your shin, maybe it's right here on your, on your thigh, that's fine. We have something to work towards every week. Inhale up and exhale, reach. Good, again, one more up. Exhale, this time reach. Maybe you're going a little bit further. Get that arm back a little bit further. Open up that chest, open up that left shoulder. Breathe, keep trying to press this left knee down towards the floor and then come all the way back up. 
switching legs, right knee in, left leg out. Your hand's either at your shin, your thigh, or the inside of your foot. Let's reach that right arm up and exhale, reach and extend. Still trying to keep pressing this right knee down towards the ground. You're still open up your hip here. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, reach up, extend. And exhale, reach over. Get that arm back maybe a little bit more. Keep flexing this left foot. Right knee is down. Maybe you're going a little bit further. And then slowly coming all the way up. All right, guys, just a few more. Two more to go. We're gonna lay on our back, okay? So we're laying down. If you have any back problems, you can always just bend this left knee. Otherwise, go ahead and straighten it. Flex your left foot, toes are up. Let's go ahead and bring your hands behind your hamstring. If this is like, hey, I got this, then you can go ahead and bring your hands to your, to your calf and that's fine too. So you're gonna get a little extra stretch here in your hamstring. So what we're gonna do, Keep your shoulders back and down. Make sure your chin is down. If it's extending, go ahead and put a block or a pillow underneath your head. And we're going to point your foot and flex. Point and flex. Maybe even bringing that leg a little bit closer towards your face. But every time you flex that foot, push your heel a little bit further towards the ceiling. Let's do two more there. And flex, one more point. And flex. Now, you can grab on to your hamstring still or to your calf. Left hand at your left hip. Let's go ahead and bring your leg out to the right. Now, keep your hip points down. If this starts to happen, you're going way too far. So you might just go right here, and that's fine. If you wanna come out, you can go ahead and do so, but keep this left hip down. If it comes up, you gotta bring your leg up a little bit higher. And the same idea, I want you to bring this heel, push your heel, towards the wall. So you're really getting that inner thigh now. Still getting your hamstring too. Another breath here. And then bringing your leg up, left hand crosses either outside of that calf or onto your thigh. Right arm is out to a T, making sure both shoulder blades are flat to the ground. Your head can look up or over to the right. Now really feeling this in the hip, a little bit in your back, a little stretch there in your middle of your back, and that IT band. And take a few breaths. Make sure that your hips are aligned. You don't want them to just fall over here. If you even have a block, you can even rest this leg onto a block or onto a pillow as well. Let's take another breath. And then slowly come all the way back up. Big squeeze here, knee in towards your chest. And then let's go ahead and switch legs. Left knee in towards your chest. You can flex both feet now. Hands either at your hamstring or at your calf. If you have any lower back pain, you can always bend that bottom knee. And then go ahead and point and flex, pushing that heel up towards the ceiling. And point and flex. Whew. Point, I feel this in my hamstring and in my calf. Flex, a few more and flex, maybe even getting that leg back behind you a little bit more. But if you bend your knee, you've gone too far. So you really wanna keep that leg as straight as you can. Now next, right arm out to the side, or you can keep your right hand at your right hip just to make sure that you keep this right hip down the entire time. Keep pushing through that left heel. Feel that in your inner thigh. Keep those bottom toes facing up towards the ceiling. So much to think about here, I know. Just like exercising, your mobility, you can also progress. You can also get better. So come all the way up, right hand outside of your leg. Left arm is to a T. Keep both shoulder blades flat to the ground. That's the hard part here. You can look up or over to your left hand. Keep pushing through this left heel. Really feeling it right here now in that outer leg. Almost there, guys. Your body is thanking you now. Guarantee you're gonna feel really good after this. Got two more breaths, because I feel a little bit more on this left side. Take a little longer if you need it. And then slowly come all the way up. Bring that left knee in towards your chest, big squeeze. And then our last thing we're gonna do, bring your feet same width as your mat. Windshield wiper back and forth, arms are down. Bringing both knees over to the right. 
This feels really good right in here. And that hip flexor too. A little bit of a twist. Come all the way up, over to the left. Keeping your feet flat to the ground and up and over. Up and over to the left. Take some deep breaths here. You made it. Sometimes mobility is harder than the workout. Come up and over. And one more up and over to the left. Good, let's go ahead and squeeze both knees in towards your chest. Bring that forehead towards your knees. Maybe rocking here side to side or front to back. Feels really nice for your spine. Let's do one more. And coming all the way up. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on Mobility Flow. Um, please just take time for your body. Take time to do this mobility flow, especially because we're working out so hard during the week. I want you guys to feel good. And I also want you to progress with your mobility. So you might be feeling really tight right now, but maybe next week or by this fourth week, you're like, wow, I feel really open in my hips and my shoulders and chest. And that's the goal um, with this program. We, it's not just fitness. We also wanna make sure that you're opening and feeling good and being able to move through different patterns um, really fluid. So thanks again, guys. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and taking care of yourselves.